hello good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time you'll be seeing this video this is pharmacist donald welcome to pharma info in this video i'll be talking about artesanates under the following heading the indication the dosing reconstitution administration and caution so it's very important to stick to the end of this video artesanate is an anti-malaria drugs used to treat severe malaria caused by plasmodium valsiparium. It comes in different dosage forms, in tablets, and also injection. For the purpose of this video, we're focusing on the injections. Artesanate as an injection comes in different strength, the 30 milligram uh, strength vial, and a 60 milligram vial, and 120 milligram vial. Each of these vials, the 30 milligram, comes with its own diluent so to use for reconstitution. Now, the 30 milligram vial comes with 0.5 mL of 5% uh, bicarbonate and uh, 5 mL of 0.9% sodium chloride. Then, for the 60 milligram, it comes with uh, 1 mL 5% bicarbonate and uh, 5 mL 0.9% sodium chloride. Now, for the 120 milligram, Vial, it comes with 2 mil 5% bicarbonate and uh, 5 mil 0.9% sodium chloride. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using a 60 mil vial, a 60 mil vial of artesanate, which comes with 1 mil, 1 mil, 1 mil of 5% uh, bicarbonate and also. 5 mL of 0.9% uh, sodium chloride. So we are going to use this diluent, this solvent, to dissolve this or to reconstitute this artesanate powder. Artesanate comes as a powdered form because it is unstable. It is unstable powder. And un un unstable powder is unstable in its aqueous solution. So we don't reconstitute it. It doesn't come in solution. So it comes in powder. So we are going to look at the reconstitution because this is the part that people make mistakes while reconstituting these drugs. Now, at first, to administer these drugs, we are looking at intravenous routes and also the intramuscular routes. So if we are going to administer these drugs intravenously, it is the meal that will determine. And also we are going to administer these drugs uh, intramuscularly, it is the meal that will determine. But first of all, to reconstitute this powder here, you take one meal, you use your syringe as a health provider because a lot of persons make this mistake. A health provider, you use your syringe, take out the whole meal of this, one meal of this bicarbonate. Artesanate can only dissolve in this bicarbonate. That is the purpose of this bicarbonate. It cannot even dissolve in this. You use 0.9% sodium chloride to dilute it after dissolving it with bicarbonate. So, you take your syringe, you take one mil of this bicarbonate and instill it into this vial. Shake it, shake it for it to dissolve completely and have a clear solution. Then, after that, you have calculated your dose based on the body weight of the patient, whether it is a child or is an adult. You have calculated your dosing. So, if you are administering these drugs, artesanate, intravenously, that is through the vein, if you are administering it through the vein, you take 5 mL of this sodium chloride, 0.9% sodium chloride, to dilute the 1 mL of this uh, solution here. We dilute the 1 mL of this sol solution here with 5 mL of 0.9% uh, sodium chloride. And you have a total mL of 6 mL. That is 5 mL plus 1, 6 mL. That is if you are administering intravenously. If you are administering intravenously, total mL of 6 mL for the 60 mg vial. Now, if you are administering it intramuscularly, you take 3 mL of sodium chloride, the 0.9% sodium chloride, 3 mL of it, you add it into the 1 mL solution of this artesanate. 
which you dissolve with uh, the bicarbonate and you have a total meal of four meal because you are administering it intramuscularly take note high volume cannot go into intramuscular space high volume cannot go in the maximum volume you can administer in intramuscularly in intramuscularly is five meal but you can do four meal so you have three meal of sodium chloride and one meal of bicarbonate you have four meal you administer it intramuscularly very 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 good without having any issue and intramuscularly if you are using the buttocks you use the you draw your quadrant the 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 outer quadrant is where you are of the gluteus uh, muscle is where you are administering these drugs now for the IV you administer it slowly within the period of two to three minutes within the period of two to three minutes artesanate cannot be stable a reconstituted artesanate cannot be stable more than one hour after reconstitution for those of you that says pharmacist i don't have money use one ample and inject my daughter for two consecutive uh, dosing after reconstituting artesanate it can only stay for one hour after one hour, what you are taking is not a testonate again. Rather, you are introducing another chemicals, another compounds. And because they will be bound to be oxidation, they will be, the drugs will get spoiled. So, after one hour of reconstitution, you don't use the, uh, the drugs again. Now, that is for administration. For caution, a lot of people make this mistake while reconstituting. If you want to experiment, or if you are a patient, you are going for this injection. If you look at the solution after reconstituting and you see precipitate, you see particles inside, don't allow the person to give you to administer this injection on you because it is not healthy at that point. Now, for you not to have particles when reconstituting these drugs, use bicarbonate first to dissolve it. Now, you dilute it with this 0.9% sodium chloride. You don't use water for injection to dissolve this powder. Take note, you don't use water for injection to dissolve this powder, artesanate powder, because artesanate is insoluble in water. It's insoluble in other solvents, but it is soluble in bicarbonate. That is why you use bicarbonate first before you dilute it with sodium chloride. Take note of this. Then, artesanate also is not used in infusion, intravenous infusion. For those of you that have this practice of injecting 5 to 10 drugs into 1 liter of dextrose saline, 1 liter of normal saline. Pharmacists, I want to flush my system. Put 5 drugs inside and flush my system. You don't try that with artesanate because artesanate can only stay for one hour. Sometimes the infusion can last up to four hours, five hours. So you see why you don't use it in infusion. And moreover, the practice of instilling more than five drugs, four to five, ten drugs into one liter of uh, infusion is, is wrong. It is very, very wrong. We have to take note of this. Why is it wrong? Because of interaction. Those drugs you are putting in there, do you know the interaction that is going on there? Drug drugs interaction, which when they interact, they will cause poison. Instead of in, 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 taking in the, uh, the right drugs, you are taking in something else. So this is what we should watch out for. This is what we should look out for, this practice. So that is how to reconstitute a tesonate powder. So and take note of those caution. Artesanate can only stay for one hour. So within 24 hours, you take only three doses. If you are able, if the patient is able to tolerate oral uh, drugs, you now switch it to the oral ACT, a based combination therapy, for three days for the complete treatment of the plasmodium parasite. Thank you very much for listening and for watching. If you have value in this video, endeavor to follow this account, like and share this video so that others can see. At subsequent time, we'll be dropping more of these kind of videos so that you also learn from it and know the various mistakes in health practice and also how to overcome them. Thank you very much. See you in, the, in our next video.